I'm Sarah Ellis. I'm the Partnership Manager for the ACFE Corporate Alliance. Um, and I'm Sarah Hoffman, the Public Information Officer for the ACFE. And we want to tell you a little bit about our fantastic city, Austin, that our 30th Annual Conference will be in. Yes, so first we'll cover the basics, a um, little housekeeping for you. Um, first we'll talk about the Convention Center. So we're excited to have you. The Convention Center is very conveniently located um, right downtown. It's in the best spot it could be. Um, there's a lot of entrances. So four, it's a box. There's four entrances. You can figure it out. I think we have faith in you. But registration in the general sessions and the exhibit hall will be on level one. So that's pretty important to remember. Um, level four is also a good, um, good number for you because most of the breakout sessions will be there. Um, except for two, I believe those are breakouts A and B, those will also be on level one. So really just remember level one, all the big stuff, level four mm -hmm. for all the sessions and that'll keep you happy. Um, level three, for anyone taking the uh, CFE exam on site this year for our first time, that's where you'll go, level three, and that's all four days. Um, four or three days, mm -hmm. you'll figure that part out too. But any questions you have, just find an ACFE staff member. We'll all be wearing navy blue jackets with a big seal on the top, on the front, and um, just ask us. We'll point you in the right direction. Yeah. Um, and then for the most up-to-date info about anything, make sure you download the conference app. Um, that's going to be where most of your answers are. Um, you can look at for that in the App Store and get the directions through there for downloading it. Yeah, um, <clears throat> we'll have your schedule will be in there. Uh, I'd say download it about a week before you come here to Austin for it, and it'll walk you through everything. We'll also have signage all over the convention yeah. center. So you'll be able to find your way at every single one of those multiple entrances. There will be signs directing you to where you <laughs> need to go. Um, so also a big question is how to get around Austin. Yes. Uh, so we have Uber and we have Lyft for ride sharing companies. I would recommend those. We have a taxi system as well and they're fantastic. Uh, if you're staying downtown, a lot of things are going to be yeah. in walking distance. The conventions Austin is a major town, a major city, but the actual downtown itself isn't that long. I walked across it in 30 minutes oh, before yeah. east to west, easy. You might sweat a little bit, but you can get there. <laughs> you'll, you'll probably sweat definitely in, in late June. Um, but it's really easy to just kind of walk to everywhere. If you do want to go places outside of downtown, uh, we have a pretty comprehensive bus system as well if you don't want to use a ride share. And you can go to capmetro.org to find schedules and routes and stuff like that. Um, and I, so one other thing is we do have a light rail system and there is a stop outside the convention center. However, but. <laughs> <laughs> however uh, it will be closed starting June 3rd through the rest of the year because they're going to expand that. So I really wouldn't recommend taking the light no, rail. No, don't anyway. plan on that. And Austin really wasn't built for that anyways. It closes early, one gun gets you where you needed to go mostly anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, also, just Uber and Lyft. You will see scooters. You'll see scooters everywhere. Uh, Avoid them. <laughs> we, we recommend if you really want to take a scooter, if you want that that experience um, to pay attention to street signs. We have a lot of one-way streets downtown, yes. and I personally, I'm sure you have too, yes. have seen scooters going the wrong, the wrong way, way in the street, down the one-way streets, and it's caused a lot of accidents. We also have potholes. Yes. <laughs> so don't do so that. So, yeah, yeah, just stay away from the scooters, <laughs> unless you really, really want to. And Maybe you're from one of those uh, tech-savvy cities who has scooters and you ride them all the time, but if not, just avoid them yeah. at all costs. We don't have rent a horse. I mean, you might think because we're in Texas that that would be a thing. Um, you might see a guy riding a horse. He's around sometimes. But no, that's not an option either, unfortunately. Yeah. I'd say downtown, you can walk it if you're worried about sweating too much or yeah. wearing uncomfortable shoes. Uber or Lyft and pretty much that. Yep. That'll get you anywhere you need to go. Yeah. So those are the basics. I mean... Got the convention center. It's easy. There's lots of restaurants, lots of things around. We'll get to that in a second. Um, for the fun stuff, though. Yeah. I think that's where we're headed. I think that's why everyone tuned in. I think so. <laughs> Austin is a great city, and um, we're going to have a series of videos on our um, social media channels coming up, highlighting a lot of places to see and things to do. Uh, we'll touch on a few of them for you. So, 
walking distance from the convention center, first thing, I'll let you start, but mm -hmm. um, it's Stubbs. And on Tuesday night, we have our um, chapter event. It, there's tickets that you can buy for that, but Sarah, why don't mm -hmm. you tell them about that? So uh, with the ACFB Foundation, it's our nonprofit arm kind of that raises money for the Richie Jennings Memorial Scholarship. And so each year at our annual conference, we try and have a big event uh, and all of your ticket proceeds will go to that scholarship. And it's sponsored by a local chapter, yes. a couple local, local a couple chapters actually, yeah. in this case, because the Austin chapter is going to be booking a dance instructor to teach you how to two-step. <laughs> Everybody if you've never, needs to know how to two-step. If you've never two-step before, this is your chance. And uh, the Houston chapter also sponsored a longhorn, like a real live longhorn that you can take pictures of and you can even climb on top of and get a picture of you riding it <laughs> if you want. Um, but the music is going to be from Texas Heritage Songwriters Hall of Fame recipient Leroy Pornell. Uh, like Sarah said, it's going to be Tuesday night. I believe the doors open at 6. six. And there's going to be food involved. There's going to be a cash bar. Um, yeah, there'll be barbecue at 7. I think it's um, like a a lineup, serve yourself type of thing, and then cash bar. Yeah, and uh, Leroy will Leroy Parnell will uh, start performing at eight. And if you haven't heard of Stubbs before, Stubbs is a pretty historic place, yeah. both for barbecue and for live music. And location, I mean. Yeah, it's going to be on Red River Street, at the intersection of 9th Street. So the convent to give you a little bit of an idea, the convention center is 4th Street to 2nd Street around there close to I-35, which runs north to south to the side mm -hmm. of downtown. Um, but so it'd probably be like a few blocks walking yeah, like a up. five, six block from the convention center. It's worth it. Tickets are $55 mm -hmm. and you should go because we're expecting a big turnout. It's kind of a private party. Yeah, and it's our private party. You can wear your cowboy hat there. <laughs> and boots. <if laughs> and want. boots. And especially your boots. Yeah. <laughs> So then, while we're on the topic of music, mm -hmm. I mean, there's Antones. Yeah, Austin is the live music capital, it is. live music city capital of the world. <laughs> yeah. uh, say that three times fast. Mm -hmm. uh, but Antones is a really great uh, venue also on 4th Street, I believe. And that's more of blues and jazz, but it's all original musicians. There's some really cool concerts there easy walking distance from, especially if you're staying at a hotel downtown near the convention center. I mean, that's only a couple blocks, and that's yeah. definitely something worth checking out, I think, when you're in town. Yeah, it's great. And then there's Lambert's Barbecue. So a lot of people are going to be coming for barbecue, and we have an endless supply. Uh, Lambert's is less than a mile away. Uh, you can walk. It's a nice walk, especially in the evening for dinner. They'll have live music there usually um, with a focus on texas -y artists. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of a fun one. But then there's... Come on, there's 6th Street. Six we got to talk about 6th Street. Famous and infamous 6th Street. Yes. So 6th Street is really divided into three parts. Sarah drew this invisible map here that mm -hmm. I'm going to work with. Um, if you envision I-35 here and Lamar here, and we have Congress in the middle, and that's where the Capitol is. It's up here. And so right above the Convention Center, you have 6th Street. And on the east side of 35, we call that East 6th. You're going to see your hipsters and whatnot there. Middle, that's Dirty Six, and that's what we're talking about right now. I'll come back to that. And on the west side, it's West Six, and that's over towards Whole Foods. They're fancy over there. So, um, but Dirty Six, which is really convenient to the convention center area, um, there's going to be live music almost in every venue, every bar there. It's kind of uh, the Texas New Orleans. You just can't drink on the street. <laughs> yeah, they, and cops do on Fridays and Saturday nights. Sometimes other random nights, yeah. they'll shut down that... Uh, length of 6th Street from Congress Avenue. And you can see the circus. 35. <laughs> <laughs> circus. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a, it can get wild later on at night, but I'd say during the early evening, like, it's ar just fun. around that dinner time, it's lined with bars, There, everything is open, so you can kind of just walk on down if you hear a band or an artist playing that you really like, just hop in, and usually there'll be uh, some of the bartenders or bouncers yeah. yelling out drink specials at you, but yeah. it's a really good place to just Walk kind of by. Yeah, <laughs> get a sampling of different types of music. If you're into kind of like rollicking covers, that's kind yeah. of your area to And go. maybe music isn't your thing. Maybe you like a good movie. Well, um, we have the original Alamo Draft House right here in Austin. It's on 6th Street. They have, I think, two uh, screening mm -hmm. 
rooms. Two theaters. Yeah, two theaters there, and they often play old movies and fun mm-hmm. little shows that you can kind of take part on, sing-alongs and yeah. uh, quote-a-thons. So you might check out the Alamo Draft House. You can eat and drink while you watch a movie. It's pretty fun, and it's very convenient for you. Um, there's also a lot of stand-up comedy. I mm-hmm. mean, you like improv? There's improv. You like just guys being goofy? We got that. <laughs> where would you recommend? Yeah. I really like the Velveeta Room, and that's uh, where you kind of get traditional stand-up comedy, and that's right next to this place called Esther's Follies, mm-hmm. which I would kind of describe as like the Saturday Night Live of Austin. Yeah, it's that's a, a good way to put it. It's an hour-long show-ish. They, I think they have two or three a night, um, but it's little, lots of music right. and skits, and yeah. I think they even have a musician. A magician, a usually. magician. A magician. They do music jokes, <laughs> but it's it's actually it's a really really good time, and I'd highly recommend it. For yeah, and I mean, right over there too is a there's a piano bar. I mean, you gotta know the crowd that loves piano bars. There's a spot in our hearts for all of them, mm-hmm. and um, but if you want something classy. I know your favorite yeah. place. Oh, so I'm a huge history buff or history nerd, as I prefer <laughs> to say it. And you'll actually see me if you check out our social media channel talking about some of those history spots. And one of them that I love is the Driscoll Hotel. And that's at the end of 6th Street. It's the intersection of 6th and Congress. Right. And it was built in 1886, and it is 1,000% haunted. And yes. <laughs> it has beautiful architecture. Um, it also has a really fun bar in the back, a nice bar. So And it's pretty. And it's mm-hmm. Texas. When you walk in, it's old Texas, and it feels homey and comfortable and a little fancy. Yeah, absolutely. They have some fantastic alcoholic drinks. They also have really good food. It's just a really nice place. I like to, if I go out onto 6th Street, I like to end my evenings at the Driscoll. Oh, I like to start them there. Oh, yeah. I remember them. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I would definitely say Driscoll, for sure, is a place to at least stop by. Even if you're not out at night, they also have a little cafe and bakery, the 1886 Cafe, and they have fantastic croissants and coffee yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. And then um, also very close to the convention center, a little south, uh, south and to the east, a few blocks is Rainy Street District. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Rainy St- Street District has taken off over the past couple years. Basically it was an old neighborhood and now it's um, old bars in houses and mm-hmm. it's great. You can just bounce from house to house. You feel like you're going um, just on a little neighborhood adventure, but they're all bars and they're great food, mm-hmm. some great Indian food, um, great German food, pizza, anything there is really fun. Um, and like I said, it's very close. So yeah. if Sixth Street's a little overwhelming for you, then maybe try Rainy Street. Um, and if you're taking a cab or a car, just say Rainy Street, they'll take you right there. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah because uh, Sarah mentioned German food. There's a really great restaurant called Bangers that mm-hmm. it's all all homemade sausages and other stuff and mm-hmm. barbecue and they just expanded a ton. It's too. huge. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. I think they have the most beers on tap in the state of Texas now because yes. of their expansion. Yeah. So that's a place that I think is great to go to. They sometimes have live music too. All up and down rainy. You'll hear music. You'll find yeah, for you sure. can't escape live music here in Austin. But the thing about so. it, anywhere you go, mostly there's going to be music a food truck, and anyone in the world that you could relate to, because that's what Austin's about. So yeah. we welcome them all. <laughs> yeah. So what else? Well, downtown's really fun. Thinking, oh, if you want to do some touristy stuff while you're in town, which I also highly recommend, the convention center is right next to the Austin Tourism Center or Austin Tourist Welcome Center yeah. or something, and they have a lot of double-decker bus tours and duck tours they oh, the duck tour. Leave right from there. So the duck tour, if you haven't <laughs> ever been on one or uh, experienced it, basically they'll take you around the city and then suddenly you will be in Lady Broderick. Lake. Yeah. And they'll take First you... you're in a bus, then you're in a boat. You never have to get out of your seat. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> and we forgot to mention, if you have any questions about Austin stuff right now, just drop us a comment and we will oh, answer sure. it to the best yeah. of our abilities because... Yeah. We can talk for hours about how much we love Long time. this town. <laughs> also, while you're at the conference, um, find any of us, and we'll all have recommendations for you. We love our city. We're so happy that this year all of you get to come and be be here with us. So we'll send you to the best places, maybe some secret places. I don't know. Yeah. We do have, if, <laughs> if you are interested in secret stuff and do don't like... Tell it. 
drinking alcohol. I'll just say <laughs> we do have a number of speakeasies downtown. Yes. Yeah, we do. also They're and pretty fun. You can just search it. Um, a lot of them need appointments to get in there, and you get given a secret passcode or a password, um, and it's but they're fun, it's very fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, stuff not in walking distance. I think it's pretty important because you're going to be here for several days. Um, you get done fairly early. Maybe you have some time to do things. Uh, I'm going to kick off because you're in Texas. You got to do something, Texas. For anyone who wants a real Texas experience at a bar. You gotta go to the Broken Spoke. It is in South Austin. It's not too far. It'd be a less than a 10 minute ride away. But um, real two step in, great bands, low ceilings, beer in a bottle, maybe a cheap cover, but it's worth it. Um, there'll be people dancing on the dance floor um, and you will feel like you are at home in Texas at your best friend's house. It is a great place to be. And they manage to survive not getting knocked down and turned mm -hmm. into a high rise. Um, so they've been here for a long time. It's mm -hmm. called the Broken Spoke, again, in case you missed it. But they also do free two-step and de dance lessons every night. I think at 8 o'clock. Uh, might be 7 o'clock. Check that out. But it's an hour free. Um, and it's really fun. So you can have as many dance lessons as you want while you're in town, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's the point. But try and go there, especially if you're into dancing and country, country music. They always keep their calendar up to date online, and they always have a live band every night. So go to the Broken Spoke. Yeah. There's my rant. <laughs> <laughs> like she was saying, and also I feel like it bears mentioning, when you're in town, right before you get into town, if you're interested in some of the bands or like seeing what's going on in town, a oh, yeah. website that we really recommend oh, yeah. is do 512. So yeah. D O 512, the numerals.com. Yeah. And basically it gives you a calendar of, of what's going on that night. Yeah. And you can look at it the day of, you can look at it weeks in advance right. and all this stuff that's happening. And it's not town. all parties and bars. I mean, there's plenty of things. There's I mean, if you love dogs, find a dog-friendly event and go pet dogs, get your dog fixed while you're away from home. Something like that. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, Austin is a very dog-friendly town. Very. You will see dogs everywhere. They will be in every restaurant and every bar. So <laughs> either embrace it or, I guess, wait until your flight leaves. I don't know what to tell you. Um, some other stuff while you're in town, not necessarily not in walking distance from the convention center, but if you're outdoorsy, a lot of Austin is outdoors too. We yes. don't let the heat stop us. No. Uh, highly recommend getting on a kayak, getting on a stand-up paddle board. Yes. You can go, if you walk along Lady Bird Lake, you'll find different places that you can rent those. It's like 10 bucks an hour. Yeah, so usually. on our map over here, you got 6th Street, 4th Street, Cesar Chavez, and then Cesar Chavez, here's the, here's the lake. Mm -hmm. Right parallel with Cedar Chavez. Te technically, it's the Colorado River, yes. but we call it Lady Bird Lake. And for anyone who's old school, it's also called Town Lake. We got a lot of Austinites who refuse to call it the new name <laughs> and refer to it as Town Lake. So that's where that is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hike and bike trails for days. You got any big runners out there? You can run for 10 plus miles on the lake. It's wonderful. Um, or go rent a boat. Yeah. There's also, if you're not into kayaking or the paddle boarding, but you still want to get on the water, um, there are a number of cruises that leave around the yeah, Congress yeah. Bridge area, and uh, I think there's one called Lone Star Cruises, and that's a BYOB. They have some daytime boat tours, but they also have some sunset cruises. Yeah. Also, Austin is known as the Bat City. That's Bat one of City. our nicknames, and that's because uh, underneath the Congress Bridge, they never built it with this in mind, but it's home to the largest urban mm -hmm. Mexican free tail bat colony mm -hmm. uh, in the North America, yes. I believe. So from it's impressive. Yes, from April to October, when the sun starts to go down, you'll see all these mama bats and baby bats just stream they swarm out. out in a spiral for a long time, like an hour, and um, it's beautiful. You will know where to go by the crowd of people on the bridge. But go to South Congress Bridge; um, you can really see it from anywhere. It's yeah. fun though if you're in a boat and you're in the water mm -hmm. and looking up. At them, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you can before. specifically get boat or uh, bat, bat boat. sightseeing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, cruises in the evening. Yeah, cruise. And that's just something that I think is really fun and unique about Austin that your friends have probably never done. I don't know. Yeah, like if your friend, sure, people know people that have seen live music or eaten really good Tex-Mex or barbecue, but how many of your friends have seen 1.3 million bats come out at night? At Not once? many. I'll tell you that. Yeah. But while we're on the topic of South Congress. Um, South Congress is known for its shopping and food. 
So just go there. I mean, why not? There's music, there's shopping, and there's food. And it's all on the same street. Um, it's historic. There's Guero's, which is used to be um, an old feed store back in the early, early days. I think in like the 1940s or something like that. Um, but it's pretty authentic and you'll get a good feel, good vibe there. But there's a lot of shopping and um, there's Continental Club. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Continental Club is another really great live music venue. Yes. That's going to be, again, a little bit bluesy, a little bit jazzy, but also really good rock and roll. That's yep. like, if you're more rock and roll than country, I would <laughs> highly recommend. That's the one to go to. Yeah, yeah for sure. Going to Continental Club. Yeah, so can't go wrong with South Congress. Um, you can call it SoCo. Some people will reference it like that, but that's what it is. And it's convenient. You know you're on the right street because when you look north, there's the state capitol, which is also a wonderful place to tour. Yeah, like I mentioned before, huge history buff right here. <laughs> and I think that if you like history at all or are curious about the history of Austin, the history of the state of Texas, you definitely need to go to the state capitol building. Yes. They have tours at the top tour of every any hour. Uh, yeah, and you can go by yourself, too. Yeah. You don't have to get a You can tour. do a self-guided tour, but they have free guided tours yeah. at the top of every hour and they will walk you through basically Austin's founding, Texas's founding. They have some really cool artifacts yeah. there. Like they have a famous painting of Sam Houston called the Raven because he was adopted by, I want to say the Comanche tribe, but I- Yeah, I think yeah. you're right. Okay, yes. uh, and he was known as the Raven in that tribe. And um, we'll not be there while the state legislature's in session, but you'll get to see the Texas Senate chambers, it's the Texas really House beautiful. chambers. Um, it's very well done and it has like like a museum, you know, you can see and read about every little piece that went into it. Um, you can also just go sit on the lawn. The lawn's beautiful. I took a goat there once. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> the, and the building, the architecture is unreal and it's all built out of red limestone or pink limestone mm -hmm. all uh, mined from Texas mm -hmm. and right uh, by the state capitol building is the Steve Bullock State Texas State History Museum mm -hmm. and that does have a cover or an admission charge but that's really interesting too. Very pretty yeah neat stuff in there. Yeah. Um, so that could cover your history and then also something to see is the library. Mm -hmm. our, our Austin library is so beautiful it's called the Central Library it's new um, and six stories. There's a bar, very cutely named Cookbook. Mm -hmm. And um, what else would you say about it? Uh, Plants, they, rooftop. They have a tech tryout section, mm -hmm. I think. They have like a 3D printer and they also have different gadgets. And you can basically not check them out, literally take them with you, but you can check them out and play with them and see some cool stuff with that. Mm -hmm. It's a Tex or Austin is a really big tech heavy city too. So if you're walking around or driving around, you might see some of the big Google offices. Right, some of uh, we have Cirrus Logic nearby, um, Home Away, which also is VRBO. Mm -hmm. We have Facebook mm -hmm. here somewhere. We have Oracle. Apple, Oracle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you'll see a lot of big tech names, and because of that, though, we are a pretty high-tech city, I yeah. would say, but also yeah. old old Texas, too. Old Texas, too, and I think that, I mean, it really wraps it all together. Um, everyone is welcome. Um, Austin is a place in Texas where every single person is not an outsider. Everyone fits in no matter uh, what you're wearing, what you look like, what your interests are. Everyone loves you here, and that is not a lie or... Um, yeah. I don't know, just we're not building anything up there. That's just the truth. Yeah, you're, I'll, you're in a safe space. <laughs> I'll say Sarah is a Texas native. I am not a Texas native, but I've been here for about four years. And coming from the East Coast, <laughs> the biggest difference to me, which you will probably experience, is you will talk to so many strangers just in your day to day because yeah, everyone's so it's friendly. True. It's yeah. just whether it's someone at the hotel, at a restaurant, if you're walking down the street, someone might yeah. just come start a conversation with you and everyone's so lovely yeah. and it's so we can't wait to have you and if you have any questions let us know we're happy to answer them we'll give you recommendations you want restaurant recommendations we got them you want movies we got it yeah. I don't know what history ghost tours yeah we can handle all of that best cocktail in town I think that's coming soon so yeah yeah no, there's a lot to do here and we, we know that everyone will be busy with the conference but we want you to also enjoy our our town, our town. because yeah so take a few minutes take a little time for yourself after the after the conference every day yeah but I think that's about it so yeah we can't wait to have you yeah I'm Sarah and, and I'm Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you in Texas thanks for watching bye y'all